good morning students after the completion of chapter number 5 we are going to start a new chapter which is named as decimals chapter number 6 okay so we are going to start the basics of decimals first okay so today you will be learning or revising the basics of decimals okay so here we are going to start see i have prepared something for you uh these are the basic things that you will be learning in this chapter okay so first of all you will be learning about the various things in decimals okay first is decimal fractions first is decimal fractions decimal fractions can be represented as decimal numbers here you can see that 3 by 10 3 by 10 is written as 0.3 so 0.3 is a decimal number okay clear similarly 314 upon 1000 can be written as 0.314 clear so these are what decimal fractions next is mixed decimals next is mixed decimals a mixed decimal contains a whole number and a decimal part a whole number is 46 and this is the decimal part here 46 is the integral part this is the decimal point and 95 is the decimal part so we we can we are reading this as 46.95 clear 46.95 clear now next third is decimal places decimal places the places after the decimal point are called decimal places see 4.76 4.76 see how many digits are there after the decimal there are two digits so we are writing two decimal places here in this question 2.643 how many digits are there after decimal three so three decimal places clear now next is place value system place value system the decimal numbers extended the place value system to the right of the ones place see here i have prepared a place value for you see here it is ones tens hundreds thousands clear and see what is there at the right of ones what is there at the right of ones a decimal to the right of decimal 10th to the right of 10th 100th to the right of 100 thousands and it goes on and on clear so how to read this 1265.406 this is the place value system if you arrange the decimal number is in place value system you will be easily writing this clear see 406 can be written as 4 upon 10 four upon 10 clear here 100 zero upon 100 thousands six upon thousands as it is at thousands place clear understood or not now next is next is expansion of decimal numbers here we express the decimal numbers in the expanded form by writing the sum of the value of each digit in the given number see here you have already learned about expanded form isn't okay so here look at the number 4612.263 so expand it first 4600 10 2 then 0.2 then 0.6 then 0.6 then 0.06 then 0.003 clear so we will be expanding the number in this manner similarly 752.002 so 750 then 2 then what is at 10th place nothing what is at 100th place nothing so zero is given here 
what is that thousands place two so the answer will be 0 0.002 no need to mention this tenth place and hundredth place when there is the value is given zero clear next is writing decimal numbers as fractions writing decimal numbers as fractions clear as fractions clear see write the decimal number without decimal point in the numerator without decimal point in the numerator and one followed by as many zeros as the decimal places in the decimal number in the denominator one zero zero then one zero 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 like zeros will be followed with one clear see how see here look at this example 0 0.08 see what is at 10th place nothing what is at 100th place 8 so 8 upon 100 see 4.756 what is the last digit here 6 what is the place value of 6 10th 100 thousand so write all these digits together 4 7 5 6 by followed by the place value of the last digit 1000 4756 upon 1000 like this you have to write clear these are the basics of decimals you need to keep this in your mind okay so look at this once again if you don't understand clear next is seventh is writing fractions as decimal numbers writing fractions as decimal numbers write the digits of the numerator and put the decimal points such as to have as many decimal places as there are zeros in the denominator of the given fractions like how many zeros there one zero so a decimal will come before one digit clear so 25 by 10 equals to write 25 how many zero is there one zero so put the decimal before a digit see how many zeros are there here three zeros so four upon thousand can be written as write the digit then put a 0 1 2 so decimal will be before three digits 1 2 3 zeros are there so it will be before three digits but here see only one digit is given and for the rest all what you can do you can add zeros for one see 1 2 3 put a decimal here so the value will be 0 0.004 or you can write uh, read this in a manner it is at 4 is at thousands place so what is there at 10th place nothing so put a 0 what is there at hundreds place nothing then put 0 what is there at thousands place 4 so write 4 like this also you can write clear so this is writing fractions as decimal numbers clear next is equivalent decimals equivalent decimal this is very simple the decimals whose values do not change even after we insert zeros after the last decimal digit are called as equivalent decimal see here 0 0.5 here also 0 0.5 here also 0 0.5 but here 0 is added here two zeros are added clear but the value is same 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 so these are equivalent decimals clear next is like decimals like decimals see like decimals are decimals having the same number of decimal places how many decimal places is here one here one here one so when you find the same number of decimal places in different decimal numbers you can say that these are like decimals similarly for unlike decimal what you can uh, understand when you have different number of decimal places here one here two here three so these are unlike decimals clear now comparing and ordering of decimals comparing and ordering of decimals see here convert the unlike decimals to like decimals first you need to convert the unlike to like see, see here First, we need to make it like, to make it like, what you need to do, see here, it is two digit number, sorry, 
the two decimal places two decimal places three decimal places three decimal places it means the maximum decimal places are three so we need to make the other two equals to three decimal places to make it three decimal places we will be adding a zero we will be adding a zero now see all the decimal numbers have same number of decimal places now now what you need to do you need to arrange in ascending order ascending order means increasing order so what is the smaller among all these see here what is at 10th place 0 3 4 2 so what is smaller among all these 0 so right 0 0.038 then next 3 4 2 which is smaller 2 so 0 0.250 then again which is smaller among these two 3 so 0 0.342 now next so this is ascending order similarly you will be writing this in descending order clear to arrange or to compare or to order a decimal number you need to make it like decimal first clear so these are the basics of decimals clear look at this video once again watch it today we will be doing this only next day we will be starting the exercise 6.1 till then you just watch this and write this in a copy okay thank you bye bye